Hey guys, that tribute guy coming to you here with some domination gameplay on on Uplink. Uh, what I'm trying to do, uh, what I'm going to talk to you about today is first off, uh, we're going to talk about how to do well pistols only, uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, about the Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer reveal. Um, might even talk a little bit about what I want to see from it. Uh, you know what I'm looking for, and then on top of that, we're going to talk about uh, how badly PS4 is beating Xbox One in sales from a chart that I just saw, literally just saw before I made this video as I was trying to figure out what content. I was like, I had to squeeze this in there, but you know, if I I'm going to get it in there. Trust me, I am going to get it in there. But okay, now here's the point where I decide in the game to go pistols only. Um, <laughs> you know, the SWAT just I, I, the SWAT just wasn't working out for me, wasn't feeling right. Figured the the pistol would give me a little bit more maneuverability, you know, so this is what I really wanted to go with. Um, first things first, uh, I run the pistol the same exact way I run an SMG or a shotgun. You know, you want to keep things close quarters, you want to keep moving. Uh, it, it's not a camping gun, it really isn't. I mean, you can camp with an SMG, don't get me wrong, you can camp with a shotgun. Pistol, not so much. You camp in the wrong spot, somebody comes in on you and they're going to be plowing you down with uh, bullets before you can even think to react to pull the trigger. And then you've got to tap, 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 tap. Um, now, I'm a big fan of the TAC-45. Uh, I mean, the B-23R is good, you know. Um, <laughs> the other, I mean, the other full-auto handgun is good. But I I'm just a big fan of the TAC-45. Um, it's, it's my go-to pistol, uh, like, a, like, as you can see right there, easy to, easy to get the turn on, uh, heavy maneuverability, close range, it's perfect, um, here you see me, bam, uh, always, also, whether you're with a pistol or not, um, if you're gonna be camping an area, like, I, I will, that's not camping, I was trying to capture an area, but always, always try and lay prone, you make yourself an easy target, because if you don't, uh, mainly because the thing is, is that if you if you're not laying prone, there's they know that you're there, they know that you're alive. But if you're laying prone, they're like, oh, somebody's capturing this. And if you're laying in a pile of bodies, they come through and go, oh, well, somebody must have got them. And the next thing you know, they got captured. Or you cap them, <laughs> uh, you capture on them, and then shoot them, and you know it's all said and done. But um, okay, but let's go back to pistols only. Uh, keep things close quarters, uh, keep moving. Uh, this is a weapon that you really, really, really want to be flanking people with. Uh, you don't want a lot of fair engagements with it. Uh, mainly because a head to head, most of the times a pistol is going to lose. Um, unless you know what, you, unless you really, really know what you're doing with it. Uh, I, I always try my best to get the upper hand in every gunfight that I have. Uh, I, don't I don't especially when I'm using a pistol I don't like fair gunfights but um I, I've gotten pretty good with the TAC 45 it's it's the handgun I use to back up my sniper rifle when I'm sniping uh, so that when I move from one side of the map to the next uh, to move locations and get into safe zones uh, but it's <clears throat> it's really just a close range flanking type weapon you have to flank with it uh, going head to head sucks with it, um, mainly because you have to be able. If you go head to head, you have to be able, bam, pop right on target, be the first person to get a shot off, and you have to keep shooting like boom, 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 boom. Just keep clicking that trigger button, keep on target, because if you don't stay on target, you're not going to do well with it. Uh, here you go, pap pap, sitting in that corner. Um, anyways, so that's how you do well with the pistol. You just keep moving. Uh, you know, keep things close quarters. Uh, try your best to flank. Don't get in too many uh, heads up confrontations with people, and you're gonna do fine with it. All right. So now let's talk a little bit about <laughs> the online multiplayer reveal. I am so stoked for this reveal. Um, okay. So it's for those who don't know, for those who haven't been checking the forums or anything. The online multiplayer reveal is going to be August 14th. Uh, it's going to take place in Los Angeles, of course. Where, why, why would it want to take place anywhere else? But um, it's going to take place in Los Angeles. It's going to be a uh, fun times, fun times, you know, just like always. Uh, 
the things I'm looking for out of multiplayer, and not saying we're going to find out everything right away. Uh, I would doubt that we would. They'll probably reveal things to us bit by bit. We might see a couple of the maps. Uh, we might see a couple of the weapons. We might get a look at the uh, at the uh, weapon systems. You know, sort of like a like we have the pick ten, like how they're gonna set up our picking weapons and secondaries and all that fun stuff. Um, I kind of hope that they stick with the pick ten system. I really do. Um, I, I wasn't too sure about it when this game first came out, uh, when Black Ops Two first came out, but I kind of love it. Uh, I play, I play the other games uh, occasionally. Like I, I don't really like Black Ops 2 all that much, but I felt obligated to hop on since it was the first day that PS that the PS3 had these maps. Um, felt obligated to hop on, but I kind of like this Pick 10 system, and I hope that Infinity Ward says, "Hey, you know what? We're gonna borrow it from you guys since we all work for the same parent company, since we all <laughs> work for Activision on this." Uh, they pretty much own it, so we're going to take this system from y'all because, hey, it was a good idea, and we're going to use it. Uh, I hope they do that. Uh, second thing that I hope to see back, I I kind of want to see the nuke back. I, I know, like, I don't want it to be a game ender like in previous ones. Uh, I want it to be like it was in Modern Warfare 3 where it killed everybody on the map that was on the opposing team and then EMP'd them for the rest of the match. You know, something like that. It's It pretty much ensures victory because they can't call in strikes on you and all that fun stuff. They can't call in uh, UAVs and everything. But uh, I kind of wish that... I kind of want to see it back just simply because, you know, it, it gives you that thrill of, yes, I just earned a nuke, and I kind of want to see it back. It was... It was fun. I, it was never really too bothered by uh, another team getting it, you know, because I was just like, when when another team got it against me, which was very rarely, uh, I was just like, you know what, dude, damn, good job. Uh, you did your you did your 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 job, and I didn't do mine, and uh, <laughs> and this is what happened. You dropped a nuke on me. All right, so let's let's talk about. That's, that's what I kind of want to see right now that I can think of off the top of my head. That's the two things that I want to see out of multiplayer right now is the nuke come back and uh, the Pick 10 system stay. Let's talk about the PS4 sales. PS4 sales whooped Xbox One's ass from a, about a ratio of 4 to 1 across the board in each country that I saw stats for. That is amazing. PS4 has sold out of release day copies from Sony. That means the retailers have all the copies already ready to go. They've got allotted all the copies they're going to get allotted. So once those retailers are sold out, they are gone, people. So get out there and get them. If you want one release date, go out there and get them now because they are almost gone. PS4 rocks. Xbox sucks. This is that tribute guy. Peace out. Love you guys.